as we lament the loss of mint on card collectibles in our toy aisles. I thought it was the perfect time to look back on some of the greatest mock toy lines of all time. Who will come in first? We'll find out on this episode of Geek Dad Life. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Geek Dad Life. It's your host, Jay Glatfelter here. So my rules for this list were simple. It had to be a mint on card action figure, so it has to have a bubble attached to a card. And then that means everything about that toy, from the card to the card art to the to the shape of the bubble to the figure that's inside the bubble, was weighted in totality to decide which one ranks where on this top 10 list. Now, as with any top 10 list, there are ones that didn't make the cut. So here are my honorable mentions. First up is Pirates of Dark Water from Hasbro. Love the TV show, love these cards. The, the art is incredible. The bubble is a little lackluster, but the figures looked really good. And then on the back of the card, you had some awesome card art, as well as, you know, a profile card, which, you know, became an iconic part of a total mint on card action figure in the 80s and 90s. Uh, love the art for Pirates of Dark Water, so they get repped here. Uh, also, another big one. This one might tick some people off, but Batman Returns or the Dark Knight Collection from Kenner. Another great toy line. Uh, I preferred Returns just because I love the uh, painted artwork of the Batman or any other type of uh, Batman character action figure that you were going to get inside. Um, tons of cross sell, which I absolutely love, but really you had to whittle it down to 10 and this one didn't make the cut. Another one that is really a personal choice for me is the Hook action figure toy line. I love Hook, one of my favorite movies of all time. And again, the card art here really shines. You got the big Hook uh, logo with Captain Hook's hook, you know, tearing it down the middle. Uh, the bubbles, you know, are unique, but also kind of boring. The figures aren't the best figures in the world, but love the cross sell on the back, um, as well as kind of getting, you know, a little spack story for the Hook film, uh, but uh, did not make the final 10 cup, but an absolute favorite for me. Another one that might be controversial to not make this list is Marvel Superheroes from Toy Biz. Again, another iconic hardback, one that has been re-released in the Marvel Legends toy line. Uh, a great figure. This was, uh, I, I opened my original one, but this is the first Spider-Man figure I ever got was this version of Spider-Man. Uh, again, great cross sell, great colors. It really pops, but only room for 10. And then last but not least on my honorable mentions is DC Comics Superheroes. Uh, I think there's better superhero options on this list, but it's still near and dear to my heart. After the superpowers toy line went away, these were the first DC superheroes we got on shelves again, and I love the gold, I love the artwork. The figures, eh, not so great in retrospect, uh, but still a great, great mint on card toy from our childhood. All right, coming in at number 10 is Kenner Aliens, an awesome toy line from the 90s. It was one of those weird rated R movies that for some reason was marketed to kids as a toy, but oh my gosh, what a great mint on card toy. You had amazing artwork. You had a really cool bubble, one of the coolest bubbles on this list uh, that shaped like an egg, like, you know, that the alien face huggers would pop out of. The figures themselves were ridiculous over the top, but awesome at the same time. And the cross sell on the back was great. This toy line was some of the best work Kenner did in the 90s. All right, I do not have a mint on card example of this, but coming in at number nine is Hasbro's WWF toy line is an iconic mint on card collectible. You know, I think it could be a battle between LJN's Wrestling Superstars and the Hasbro toy line, but I gotta go with Hasbro just because for me personally, it was more iconic. That's when I got into wrestling. That's with the figures that I grew up with and bought as a kid. But really just that that, that classic WWF logo looked awesome. That, 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 that blue background that the, the first figures had and they kind of came up with different color backgrounds. It was just a really fantastic looking figure on a card on a toy peg that would just scream, I need to buy this. All right, number nine is the X-Men toy line from Toy Biz. Ah, what a fantastic toy line of figures. But the, the, the total package of the uh, orange card with the, the big X-Men logo with the artwork of the, the character that you'll get inside, plus the figure and the Marvel superheroes trading card that you get inside. Uh, it was just incredible. This is the first Wolverine figure and the first card back design from this toy line. And uh, there were a few things as iconic as this toy line in the 90s. Now, this next one, I don't have an example in hand, but it is an iconic classic. It is the LJN Thundercats toy line. 
You know, it's very simple, but it is so effective. That wonderful Thundercats logo on that kind of black matte card back with kind of the breaking up white background behind the figure. The figures were so colorful that the more subdued look of the card back just made them pop that much more. And really what solidified its position in this top 10 list for me was the recent reveals from Super 7 for their LGN colorways for the Thundercats characters. And they utilize that same kind of black with the white burst background for the figures. And it just pops so well. It kind of zapped me right back to the 80s. And it's also a really hard toy line to find today, mint on card, because they didn't overproduce it back then. So I think the scarcity, just this really cool look, is why it's at number seven on this top 10 mock figure list. Coming in at number six is Kenner's Real Ghostbusters toy line, an absolute classic in my opinion. I know Real Ghostbusters isn't as widely accepted as one of the great toy lines of the 80s as I feel it should be considered. But really, this card art is so much of what I remember and love about the Real Ghostbusters toy line from Kenner. That purple background with the yellow lettering, the Go Real Ghostbusters logo in the top. You always had like a light color background to, to showcase the figures that were inside. And the cross sell artwork on the back of these was so freaking awesome. Uh, absolutely love this design. And it was so cool that we got recreations of those vintage cards on toy shelves a few years ago when the Ghostbusters Afterlife movie came out. And really, this one is a favorite and uh, absolutely, I think, deserves to be at number six on this list. All right, at number five is Kenner's Superpowers. Oh my gosh. You know, if I just had it on card back alone, this might be number one. Those vibrant primary colors just pop so well. The amazing artwork of the actual character you're getting inside was awesome. The cross sell on the back looks fantastic. You also got a cutout file card, which told you about the character and also had awesome artwork on the other side of that card. That was really cool. Plus you got a mini comic inside this set. Uh, really, the Superpowers toy line is one of the greatest toy lines of all time and absolutely is a perfect entry into the top five of the greatest mock toys of all time. All right, as we go further into the top five, we're getting into some really iconic mint on card figures. And there are a few that are greater than G.I. Joe, a real American hero. Now this is a 25th re-release figure here, but still they utilize that amazing card art for this toy line. And it still shines today. It's just a, a, such a great look. You have great original art of the figure. You also have a bubble to see the figure inside, but where G.I. Joe really shined was its file cards. They really made you so invested in the character. And even if you didn't read the comic books or didn't even watch the cartoon show, with this file card alone, you could be set off on some awesome adventures. The cross-sell art, I mean, everything about it is fantastic and is absolutely worthy of being in the top five of the greatest mock toys of all time. All right, number three is going to be Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles in 1988 with these first fan club edition soft head turtles. The world would never be the same. Just really everything about these toys screams iconic late 80s and 90s. The original art for each figure. I mean, you're getting multiple different looks at the character in artwork form. Plus you got the amazing figure, you got the weapons rack. And then on the back, you had some of the most iconic cross sell artwork, the 10 back. And then you also got a fantastic file card. You got pizza points to turn in. And then you also have the Turtles origin story in the back. So much was packed onto these cards and on these figures from the get go that it is absolutely deserving of being number three on the top mock figures of all time. All right, at number two is one of the greatest toy lines of the 80s and all time, and definitely deserving being here on this top mock figures of all time list. It is Masters of the Universe. Now, this is a Motu Origins figure uh, because I don't have a mint on card example, but they follow the same motif. The bubble is awesome, how it kind of forms around the figure, but still has a unique shape. It's an iconic shape. It came with the mini comic. The, the blowing rocks in the background with the Masters of the Universe logo was awesome. The cross sell. The um, uh, original art on the top showcasing the figure, showing you how to leverage its action features. So much about it was iconic. I do have some vintage examples here. Again, just to show you how awesome these cards were. I mean, really everything about them just screams 80s and it screamed to be picked up and bought as a kid. And I think it's why the Motu Origins line has been so successful today because it leverages that same approach of awesome original art awesome uh, eye-catching visuals on the card back. 
the very unique bubble, the awesome figure inside, and the mini comic. The best mock toys were the ones that gave you everything you needed to create your own adventures right out of the box. You could have just one figure with a mini comic and awesome art to inspire you to then start your own adventures. And that's why Masters of the Universe is number two on this list. All right, it was hard to give number one to any other figure on this list because this card back bubble and figure combination is arguably the thing that started it all for mint on card collectibles. And that is Star Wars from Kenner, the original line that has extended into the 2000s and the 2010s. Uh, it is such an iconic combination of bubble with the great color in the background to make the figure pop. You had an image from the film and really on the back, that cross sell for all of the different Star Wars figures that you could get was so amazing. I mean, just think about it. Think of all of the history contained within these card backs. The first time you saw Boba Fett was probably on one of those card backs. I mean, just really the, everything that you could see and, and, and stir the imagination imagination ah oh, it was just incredible and the legacy of all of these mock cards are felt today in the vintage collection which takes the same approach but with more modern figures inside and honestly the the thought of losing this toy line is what is giving a lot of anxiety to toy collectors specifically mock collectors but really uh, even if it goes away tomorrow the legacy is secure for kenner star wars because it started it all and it absolutely deserves to be number one on this list all right what did you think of my top 10 what did you like what did you hate let me know down in the comment section below i want to thank the people that make this show possible my patrons you can find a full list of them right here if you'd like to become a patron today become one at patreon.com slash geek dad life definitely check out some of my other videos like this one that youtube wants to check out and one of my recent ones and until next time hasta luego and goodbye